Good morning, everyone. Today, we have a wonderful lesson from the Bible that teaches us about welcoming others with open arms. In the book of Matthew, Jesus shared some important words about showing love and kindness to others. Let's explore the Holy Gospel according to Matthew chapter 10, verses 40 to 42, and discover the meaning behind these verses. Once, there was a man named Jesus who had 12 special friends called disciples. They traveled with Jesus wherever he went and learned from him. One day, Jesus gathered his disciples together and spoke to them about sharing his message of love and hope with others. Jesus said to the disciples, Whoever welcomes you welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. And whoever welcomes a prophet as my messenger will receive the same reward as a prophet. And if someone welcomes a good person because that person is good, they will receive the same reward as that person. And if someone gives even a cup of cold water to one of my followers because that person is my follower, I promise you that person will surely be rewarded. The disciples listened carefully to Jesus' words. They realized that it was important to be kind and welcoming to others, especially those who carried Jesus' message. They learned that when they were received with love and kindness, it was like being welcomed by Jesus himself. Jesus explained that when people showed hospitality to his followers, they were also showing hospitality to him and to God. The disciples were excited and eager to go out and share the good news of Jesus with everyone they met. They understood that even the smallest act of kindness, like offering a cup of cold water, could make a big difference. They knew that when they were kind to others, they were showing God's love to the world. From that day forward, the disciples went from town to town sharing the message of Jesus they were welcomed into many homes where people listened to their teachings and offered them food and shelter. The disciples were grateful for the warm receptions they received and they blessed the people with prayers and words of encouragement. The disciples also met many children along the way. They remembered Jesus' words and treated the children with love and care. They played with them, told them stories about Jesus, and taught them about Jesus' love and children felt special and loved by the disciples, and they too learned the importance of being kind to others. Jesus' words in Matthew 10, 40-42 taught the disciples and all who heard them that even the smallest act of kindness can have a great impact. They learned that when they welcomed others and showed them love, they were truly welcoming Jesus and reflecting God's love to the world. And in return... They received blessings and rewards from God for their kind deeds. And so the disciples continued their journey, spreading love and kindness and the message of Jesus everywhere they went, knowing that they were not only welcomed by the people, but also by Jesus himself. Wow! So Jesus' message to the disciples applies not only to them, but to us. I have two cups here. These cups represent different people. Just for fun, this one could be me, and this one could be you, or it could be your grandma, or it could be someone you've never met. Well, let's take Jesus here and put him in the cup that represents me. Well, now that I've welcomed Jesus into my life, how do you think that makes him feel? I think Jesus would be happy. He wants to be in our lives. Well, imagine this water is love and kindness. Jesus brings love and kindness to our hearts when we let him in. Now, can you tell me what happens to the people around us once we've added Jesus' love and kindness to our hearts? Well, maybe they can see Jesus' love and kindness in, in us and we can share it with them. And when we welcome Jesus... His love and kindness flow through us and touch the lives of others. 
Wow. So Jesus is saying that his love and kindness can spread from one person to another, just like the water went from your cup to the cup that represented me. That's right. That's exactly what he's saying, that we can share Jesus to others by showing love and kindness and hospitality. So in today's lesson, we learn that when we welcome Jesus into our life, his love and kindness can flow through us to touch the lives of others. Just like water poured from one cup to another, we can spread Jesus' love by showing love and kindness to the people we meet. Let's strive to welcome Jesus in others and make a positive difference in the world around us. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for teaching us about welcoming others in Matthew 10, 40 to 42. Help us to welcome Jesus into our lives and show his love and kindness to everyone we meet. Guide us to be kind and welcoming, just like you are to us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So remember, when we welcome Jesus in others, we spread his love and kindness to make the world a better place. Let's be welcoming and show love to everyone we meet. <music>